Before this video gets started, exactly 24 hours after this video's upload, my brand new solo only server is going live on the public test branch. The server's going to be available at the same time that all the weekly servers wipe, and I'm also going to be playing on this server, so you guys should definitely get involved and come and try and find me in game. But anyway, let's get back to this solo video. I lived in one of the sneakiest base designs in Rust, hidden away between the clans, and with one of the most unique bunker base designs that you've seen, I'd try to survive this highly populated monthly server, and do it all completely solo. What's going on guys? How you doing? I'm back playing some solo Rust today. We're on a monthly, on a monthly today, and it's day two after fresh wipe. So I'm getting in a little bit late, but it's fine. We'll just see what we can do. So I was kind of thinking like maybe somewhere in the middle here. I don't, I don't love this map. The snow biome is really small, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I wonder if we can squeeze a base between dome and train yard. I have a pretty cool base that I want to try and build today. I've never actually built this kind of bunker properly, so I'm, I'm kind of excited to try it out. I think you guys will like it too. It's a really overpowered and cheap design that, yeah, I haven't seen all that often. So some of you guys, it might be uh, new to some of you guys. Okay, let's farm up a little bit. Nice, feels good to get a bag down. So I was thinking, yeah, probably like closer to power plant, honestly. Power is like such a good monument. After making my way inland and getting some starter resources, I wasn't overly keen on the area close to dome. So I ventured further south in search of somewhere to call home. Closer to power plant, an insanely strong monument that I could use to progress quickly. And after not too long, I found an area that caught my attention. I don't know where to build. I have this problem every way. Ooh, I don't mind the look of that forest over there though. Ooh, this could be perfect if I can build here. Oh my god. Jesus. Let's go a little bit deeper into this forest. I don't want that guy to find where I live. Man, he had 200 scrap. He had no ammo though? Okay, nice. I don't feel so bad if I die now. As day fell to night, I finally got the foundations down for my sneaky bunker design. But what I didn't realize at the time is that I'd made a crucial error in the build. Oh, it's perfect. Okay. Okay, we'll make this TC right here. Yep. Let's do that. So I didn't really end up building like anywhere near where I set out to initially. I think I kind of liked the spot that I chose though. There's not really any bases there, and I can kind of hide my base amongst the trees. I like that. It's a little bit too open out here. Oh, 
I returned from a short farm run to my hidden base amongst the trees and expanded to give myself an airlock. Yeah, this base is going to be cool, man. This base is going to be really cool. <laughs> it's so hidden. I love it. If only we had the uh, shipping container skins on console. Yeah, let's get those stashes. I'm keen to uh, use these coffins too. So we're trying to keep the trees like right around my base. Keep it nice and hidden. <laughs> it's actually so hidden. I love it. Wait, what? You can just place them like... No, that's actually crazy. Surely three don't fit. <laughs> no way. <laughs> what do you mean? What? That's insane. <laughs> that's so much storage. It's the perfect wipe to do this base because it's like not a very big base. How is there 80 players online right now? I feel like I haven't seen anyone for like an hour. I'd had a flawless run, but the weirdly quiet server with 80 players online made me lose interest, and I'd end up logging off for the night, and I wouldn't return until 12 hours later. <laughs> no way. No way, man. There is no way we're alive right now. I just wasn't like I just wasn't feeling it yesterday. So I didn't end up playing like at all, really. I got this little starter base down and I when I logged off I was like, oh I still got a wooden door. So we're probably toast. Uh oh. Well now we're probably toast. Nah, uh, not like this. <laughs> not like this, man. Surely not like this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. 
got so close. Do I have outside bags? I do. We spawn outside. Oh man, that was so close. Holy. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to today. I've got a good chunk of time to play. And we're just going to have a good time, man. Get those metal frags. I wonder if this guy is sitting... Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. We can definitely make a play here. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Not bad. Didn't have much, but it's something. I need to expand, put another airlock down. Man, picking up candies without a bag is such a trap. man. I really like this base design. It's gonna be so good. And like, it's so overpowered with the coffins too. <laughs> Sorry fellas. Great costume. What? Dude, what is that? Oh my god. That is the funniest shit I've seen for a long time. <laughs> no, we need, we need to go somewhere like near Outpost and see if this works. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> this is so good. I'll be able to see people coming from so far away. Oh, we got people. <laughs> we got dudes coming. <laughs> Let's go. There's two naked something. Come on up this way, please. No, come this way. Yes. <laughs> Damn it, the bear killed them both, I think. God. <laughs> it was coming straight for me, man. He had no idea. After traumatizing some nakeds, it was time to get back to the grind. Oh, no way. Yeah, I gotta go home. I need to learn that. I'm so far from home. Oh my god.
That's unfortunate. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get that researched. Ah, oh, so good. It's good BP to get. Alright. I've been away from base for too long. Let's try and get home. What the fuck? Oh my god. Quick, depot. My god, they just came out with so much. <laughs> Here we got a new neighbor. Yeah, like 64. 64 shoddy rounds. It's crazy. Has he? Oh man, that's a good run. My newly found neighbors were randomly kinda loaded, but the best thing I scored was a Hazzy, meaning that if I got a blue card, I could start running the power plant monument. But moments after killing these guys, there were footsteps outside my base, so I decided to lay low for a while and make some coffee. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna sit AFK for a little bit. Go make some... Coffee or something. <laughs> it is sitting at my door right now. I really like this area. Like, I'm just really enjoying living here right now. We haven't even added the coolest part of this base yet. I do want to try and get a green card. A um, blue card, I mean. Ooh, harbor's pretty close. Let's do that. Let's try and screw a blue card. And then we're going to do a bit of a farm. Try and get this base upgraded. Oh, that is... That coffee is just like hitting the spot right now. Green card. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I swear I need a coffee sponsor. Anyone out there listening that's uh, affiliated with a coffee business, hit me up, man. About time I get some furnaces going in here. Could you get some mood lighting going too? like it we could try a uh, power plant run I love how cheap this base is to build it's gonna be surprisingly strong too I think after this run we'll uh, prioritize trying to finish the base I'm excited to show you guys the final form is so good dude i think it's definitely the best monument maybe not the best for a solo but because it's like often uh pretty contested it's simple like there's no scientists and it's loaded it's actually loaded
get out of here. Hell yeah. It's a good run. What do we get there? Almost 300 scrap. Oh man. As I came back from a farm run, I noticed my new neighbors online. I was going to leave them be until this grub tried to make a play on me, and I had noticed that they had two double doors as their airlock, so I wanted to try and make a play. We're going deep, I got a feeling. <laughs> too many double doors. What I said. <laughs> and you will go deep, man. TC is unlocked too. Ah, oh, there's no lock on that. No way. My base. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get wrecked. Ah, oh, dude, that is uh, some swift revenge for that guy shooting at me. 350 scrap. Ah, oh, man, that's nice. That is nice. What's here? Revy. Solar panels, kind of good. Yeah, they're pretty poor. Tier 1, though. Sorry, lads. Had to be done. I feel like those guys are probably rage quit. <laughs> oh, there's the farm that I need. Tell you what, the butcher's knife is kind of savage. <laughs> Made a uh, light work of those dudes. Yeah, a thousand scrap. Hey, we definitely have to expand. We are too loaded in here now. Let's go get some wood. We want a half horse here. Keep this little tree here too, maybe. I like it. I like it. Feels good getting that uh the single door airlocks on the front. Okay. So pretty much place a floor here. Oh did I test it? Oh no, did I not test it? I didn't test it. No. <laughs> no, I can't fit out. I can't get out. No. Yeah, no, I definitely can't fit out of that. Okay, can we modify it? Let's have a quick look. A massive oversight. I hadn't tested the bunker to make sure it was on the correct incline. But improvising base builds always ends up in unique and awesome designs. And what I'd come up with would honestly be one of the coolest and stealthiest bunkers I've ever built. Okay, I'm gonna leave it until daytime.
definitely going to salvage this this bunker. I don't know how yet, but something's going to work. I can tell. And that's when I had a breakthrough on the base build. Interesting. So what happens here? I have these connected. Say with like a doorway here. What happens if I break this? <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yes, I knew we could do it, man. That's honestly like the most unique <laughs> entrance to a base I've ever seen. <laughs> yes, it works. All right, let's upgrade that. I love it. I love it, man. <laughs> oh, what a cool little entrance. Yeah, we should really up um, honeycomb the TC. I almost sealed myself in. That needs to be twigged. Yeah, that is so unique. I actually really like this base. Turned out quite a bit different to what I had originally planned, but I like it. Sorry, buddy. All right, man, I'm gonna metal up a bit of the base and have a, have a break for a bit. It's been a good little run. It's been a good little run. I've enjoyed it. I'm glad that we were able to somehow <laughs> Or somewhat salvage the bunker base. I'm really happy with the uh, with the outcome. To be honest, people will definitely be confused. Armor that. Seal up the bunker. Black thoroughbred. I want to keep him alive. Could be handy. Just get to outposts. Do some recycling and whatnot. We can put a little stables. Everybody, yeah, that should be plenty. There's no way he's gonna tell me. <laughs> I gotta try and make a play.
It's not a very good bush, but it's gonna have to do. <laughs> no. No way, <laughs> it doesn't go down. <laughs> what do you mean? Damn, my bush was worse than I thought. Oh my god, I have so much, <laughs> so much scrap. <laughs> no, I think you just sealed it. Damn it, man, that's so unlucky. Yeah, this guy's gonna be a problem. Let's go. I'm out. Damn, the tummy broke. I think we make a tier 2 and maybe a P2. Oh, nice. We can like squeeze it right in there. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's that is so good. Man. Okay, do we go by? Go buy Jackie. And on the way back, we'll do some farming. And trade it for a bunch of wood, because I'm pretty sick of farming wood, to be honest. So that's what I did. I finally put down a level 2 workbench, crafted myself a P2, and took my newly acquired horse to Outpost. And this P2 would end up being put to work much sooner than I'd planned. good is the Jackie. Can I please have two scraps? All I need. Thank you, bro. <laughs> I love you. You want three scrap back, bro? Spend it on something nice. listening to <laughs> come on man get me home Fuck. oh my god oh, that's too funny what's he doing to be fair though like well the animal sounds have been silent i don't know if it's an audio bug or something I feel like it's probably best that we don't have a horse attached to us at the moment. Like, if we keep a horse in our stables, it's gonna make it more obvious if they come this way. I 
if that was his teammate. Not long after trading my P2 for an AK, I was roaming around my area again when I heard a Tommy shooting close by. I didn't have the Tommy blueprint, so this was a huge opportunity for me. If I could get a Tommy, that would be so huge. Sounds like they're kind of in the middle of nowhere though. It's him. Do you see me? No way. Oh my god. And a custom. Get me home, bro. Slips away into the forest. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, let's go. Oh my god. What a run. I'm gonna learn that instantly. I don't get why you had a... He had a nail gun equipped, but he had a Tommy in his invent. Like, what are you doing? Ah, uh, that feels good. Well, I should probably keep my head low for a little bit. Yeah, I do want to finish the base, like the honeycomb. So we'll go out for a little farm. really turn that light off trying to be trying to be hidden in the trees and not a beacon honestly this loot room is kind of crazy it's like almost all we're gonna need these boxes are insane the coffins Surely it doesn't open. <laughs> oh my god, look at his teammate's name. Jeez. Damn. You guy's toxic. Let's finish up our uh, honeycomb. Straight after this, my neighbors returned the favor with a door camp, but I had a sneaky plan for getting my P2 back. I make myself a bow. Beat these little kids. Thanks for the P2, pussy. <laughs> uh, sorry, buddy.
<laughs> nice. There we go. And we can just work on the inside. Might do a uh, train run. If I could get like a shoddy truck or something, that would be so nice. Let me get the flame turret. Something. I'm still kind of shocked that I just randomly got an AK before. <laughs> just out of nowhere. And the roadside, like, unfortunately the jacket, like, roadside jacket's broken, but... silent right now. Ah, uh, that's how I killed that guy before. No way, because the horse must have been silent. <laughs> He'd be spewing, dude. Alright, I gotta head out for a bit. I don't think I have enough scrap for garage door. Oh my god. Just... Vitamins it's huge. in history books Psychology in a different way Alright, I gotta head out. We chuck these garage doors down, seal up the bunker, and... Yeah, I think we'll be safe. Like, those guys aren't gonna be raiding me anytime soon. If suffering's a way to earn your key I better start putting miles on my feet. But I'm so As it sometimes happens, life got in the way, and I couldn't play anymore this way. But I had a great time just getting a start and designing one of my favorite solo bunkers that I've built in some time. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you real soon with another solo adventure.